Okay, folks, we're going to go through my Radiosity uh, demo uh, that I've been doing over the last. The main thing when you do Radiosity is to create lots and lots of triangles. Um, so, this is first is this will start. We'll start with the triangle pack class. Um, this holds all the normal information you expect out of triangle class vertices, colours, normals, centres, that kind of thing. Um, and all those ve vectors which hold said information, the, the colours and uh, the vertices. The actual constructor for it is a constructor. Um, it does all the to start adding the vert the verts to each internal vert and to the vectors and so on, just as normal. Um, what it also does though is because when we start the program, the data that's taken in is from here. Uh, this is just some basic data that makes a six-sided cube with an open space. Um, so instead of 12 large triangles, so they're much too big to be using the triangle properties of radiosity. So we have to split them up. So that's the triangle class. Um, we will come back to that in a little bit. But let's have a look at where these are all kept. The triangle array is a triangle array class, uh, and this will here in triangles hold all of those, all the triangle patches, um, because that's really where we get the radiosity from in here. Function. It's quite a large one, it's not too complicated though. Um, basically, all we do is we go through that triangle vector, then for example, we do that. Um, and then, as I said, pull out the split vertices, create two new triangles, and um, add them to the triangle vector, and then remove the old one. So that's those things. What we'll look at next is the uh, actual view factors that we were talking about. The view factors is basically the piece of information that you need to get to show the relationship between one triangle and the other one. So this load code um, can get quite complicated, especially if you don't do your vector math properly, which I didn't. I messed up that one. But, um, what we're trying to model here is this, this little calculation. We can model this guy. So um, this is what we need to work out the distance between at these two points, the, the the angles between that vector and the triangle's normal, and the area of the triangle as it is using the calculator. Let's go to the video of the calculations. Uh, they are okay. so one second. Radio the calculations. Uh, this is when the actual stuff is done. Um, there's quite a few things in here. Firstly, uh, we need to create a vector. Um, which will hold a copy of the main triangle's vector. You can see that here. Uh, the triangles, we want the radiosity triangle. Um, and we have a, a kind of local radio code has delimitation. So it's zero to start. Uh, to begin with, you go through the radiosity tries and, and check which ones have the highest delimitation. Find that highest delimitation and you can use that for later on. The next part is the, again, another for loop. We go through the radiosity try. And those ones which come out and do have the highest illumination that we worked out just a moment ago, we look at those. We then go through their view factors. As I said, there's a vector in each triangle holding all these. Um, get the illumination that needs to be used. At the start, this will be the lights, obviously, because they'll have the highest, but they'll have the only illumination you see. Uh, theirs is the VF, the view factor, which comes out of that index. And if they're both above zero, we then make that the illumination to add. And that is added on to that triangle's that we're looking at, that triangle's illumination. And that's how that works. So that is basically the main thing. So look at the calls to it. This is all the initialization. Um, here we set the area of the triangle. So this is how we control the splitting. So we say that's the area we want. Well, that's the max area, so we need to get ones underneath that using that shrink. I click the triangle normal, check out the view factors. And then the radiosity. Uh, the Parameter in there is just to say how many passes it took. And let's have a look at what it actually looks like when it's done. Um, and you can see, obviously, it has the very low resolution. Um, this is our light source. And then let it straight out here. You can see the bit red coming from here. A little blue on the floor in there. That's good. Um, the, 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 that's good, that's how radiosity works. These are just artifacts.
Um, but that is the basics of it.